I'm here to tell you about this incredible sport fishing machine. It's the Boston Whaler 270 Dauntless. Hi, I'm Henry Washchuk. You know, I've been fishing professionally for over 30 years. Hey, and I've been in a lot of different boats, but there's none that compare to this incredible sport fishing machine. It's got style, it's got performance, it's got everything that a fisherman would want. And I'm gonna show you how incredible this sport fishing machine really is. So let's first of all talk about the length. This boat to the platform is 29 feet almost. That's unbelievable. Nine foot beam. You talk about lots of walk around space, big deck out here. You can even have a casting platform deck here. It's perfect for anybody that just wants to fish, not just offshore, but inshore in very shallow water. And I'll show you how. Like, believe it or not, I've got this 270 Dauntless in 14 inches of water. You can see there, it just comes off, and this is the depth that it's a little bit dirty, but we're sitting, I got the porter bracket all the way up, and that's what's so great if you love shallow water fishing. We're gonna be heading in even shallower, probably into just about 12, 13 inches, and then we'll just hold up with the power pole, and I tell you, hopefully, we'll get into some redfish, but I'm telling you right now, I can't believe we can float this boat so shallow. Now let me tell you first about, about the power. A lot of people get a boat like this, this length and weight and say, hey, I got to run two engines. Not if you want an offshore boat and an inshore boat. This is what I did on this boat. I put a 350 Verado, super quiet, lots of power for this boat, but the key is the porter bracket. If you look at that bracket right there, that, that raises the engine vertically back and forth. Hey, whenever you want it, up and down, and what I can do is raise that engine vertically to the point where I can get in the shallow water less than two feet and keep that engine entirely in the water, no cavitation, and tell you what, you don't spook fish. The other thing about the porter bracket, it helps with performance. It sets the engine back. So when you're off there in a big chop, this boat still handles it. It's got a lot of weight. That's what Boston Whalers are known for, safety, performance. But I tell you, that porter bracket is amazing. And you definitely have to have that on your boat. Let me tell you something else about this incredible boat. It's the seating. Starting at the back, you've got a full bench seat right here. You talk about comfort, going offshore, you get a little bit of a bounce. And this boat, like all, all Boston whalers, I'm telling you what, it handles the water incredibly. And the helm, my goodness, you talk about comfort. All right, so this just pops down. I can sit up here, put my feet up, and I tell you what, now I can get out there cruising real comfort. Huh, it doesn't get any better. Very comfortable, but I tell you, like, I love to be just standing up here with that perfect windshield wrap here, with that T-top out of the sun. And I'm telling you, I've got it equipped with two Raymarine units. They look awesome, the great performance here. Whatever you want, have, using double screen, that's what I like. Be on the spot, especially in deep water. I can stay on those fish, mark them, and I tell you what, a lot of success. And when you take a look at everything, like I said, the T-top and this whole center console, look at the size of it. And underneath, inside, there's a side door or on the opposite side, and you can go right into a beautiful head, lots of room. And last but not least, I gotta come right back up here because there's no boat <laughs> that has the storage that this boat has. Look at that. I've got my cast nets in there, two buckets. I can store my cushions in there. That's a lot of storage in a boat. Everything that you see is storage. And with the seating, you put those cushions up. This locks into place. You got a full seat going out here that you can sit down and enjoy it. Just pops back down, clips right back in the spot.
Now anybody that's a serious fisherman, you want to make sure that you have enough rod holders because no matter what you go for, offshore, inshore, you have a variety of rods. There's lots of great storage on the boat, but right on top of the T-deck, which looks amazing with lots of style and usability, you got your rods up here. But you also have five across the back and two are slanted backwards, which I really love. Same with the two back here around the live well. There's two, one on each side. Another two here, one on each side. And those of you that love to fish in the front, I've got two in the front, perfect. You know, when you're jigging or anything else or fishing live bait, like, you know, thread fins for tarpon and you want to set a rod in a holder, that's a perfect spot. So you can watch them at the back or watch them in the front. And most importantly, those that you like fishing offshore, hey, there's nothing like outriggers. They're already put in. These are manual, they work great. Super for kingfish, dorado, any other offshore fish that you want to fish for, it's all set up. You talk about a fishing machine, this is it. And like every fisherman that loves to have bait wells, this is great. Here it is, what a station at the back. I've got a lot of tools in here, my gloves and everything else to land my fish, but a 30 gallon live well. Hey, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, you got everything you want here, really good circulation double level so depending on how much water you want in there you can make that adjustment so it's perfect and another thing about the live well and whole setup with a sink is this here it is slide out you got your yeti cooler put all your cold drinks in there just slides right back in a perfect spot tell you what they think of everything this is one of the very very few boats that you can mount a nice motor guide like an XI-5 with GPS control on the front of that boat and you can work that electric. It's got that beautiful deck and like I said, a lot of times when up here, this is great for my casting platform because I've got this elevation, especially in water. The water's dirty right here because we've had lots of high winds, but when you have that clear water and you can see those fish tailing or moving, it doesn't get any better in shallow water fishing. You know, when you talk about Boston Whaler, they talk about family, no question. A boat that can do it all. Like this 270 Dauntless, from fishing to family fun to water sports, this boat does it all. And that's why they call it Boston Whaler, the unsinkable legend.